Are we in the right game? I already talked about Brandless 2 today. This is... Are we... Is this sort of Valeria? What is going on? <laughs> Subscribe, please. All right, so um, I do want to talk about a few things regarding sort of Convaleria. We've been having a few announcements. I didn't really cover it because I've been a lazy little bum. It is what it is. But essentially, we are getting a uh, big, 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 big patch, 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 patch. And uh, essentially, we've had this whole new storyline that already came out like about a week ago, right? Five days ago. I haven't actually gotten into it yet. Because I wanted to... I, I've been slacking on the main campaign modes, right? I've only the only gotten two big endings, essentially. And right now I'm actually working on the Papal State routes. Um, but yeah, I didn't check it out, so I do want to have a look right now. Because I want to see the new characters and all of that stuff. So this is more based in Elaman, I believe. So this is a thing that you you cannot interact with the trader, right? Uh, Akambe, I think his name is. Uh, so yeah. It's a golden parrot. <laughs> Homa, the enigmatic vendor. She looks so cool, dude. I love how she looks. Actually, she kind of reminds me of uh, Daya. Uh, I think it's like the black hair with the little, like the the blonde, uh, um, 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 the blonde streak there. She kind of reminds me of Daya. <laughs> Wait, did she do a big milly with her birds? It just beats up people. She goes like, bird, attack! We got the three color one of those fucking Pokemon. <laughs> it's like a look at her face! This is literally an all-out attack from Persona. She's like, oh yeah, ah, oh, freak! Bird, stop attacking me! Attack the enemies! <laughs> I love this, it's so funny. Are we in the right game? I already talked about Brandless 2 today. This is... Are we, is this sort of Valeria? What is going on? What? Asna, the shadowy scent. I can't see myself through others' eyes. Well, maybe don't blind yourself. More bold. Oh, I love characters that use threads. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's my kink. Character that uses threads and chain is just mwah, it's it's so peak. So what is she like a, a denser assassin kind of kind of character? That's awesome. Oh, I got her. Coco is already out. I, she's Coco is so peak. She's so cute. She's so look at the look at the big fox here. Just. Eat its feel, just being a big fox, having a good time. But I'm done. I finished eating the entire world. <laughs> oh, so cute. Yatane! Bonk. I'm so happy I got her. But like this whole thing is so rough because I still I like I am waiting for Safia to come out. I need Safia in my life. She's the most peak character in the game. Jesus! The national merchant of Elman. Look at like the gold on his body. He looks like godly or some stuff. Damn, he looks insane. What is he, Midas? It feels like maybe like he uses money to like higher assassin and stuff. Ooh! Oh, well, let's see that lady. Who is she? Oh, she's not in this picture. Oh, look at everyone here. This coal up there with the cats. You can see Beryl, uh, Inanna, uh, uh, Maisa, and Fekal. This is Ruia. 
that's the new character. Uh, I don't remember her name, but she with the burbs. Uh, Nono Wheel, Iggy, uh, Coco, Akambe up there. That's awesome. Yo, that lady at the end though. That lady at the end though. I love her. Oh my god, the piercing on her lips. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna need it. man. Like, how do you expect me to save properly for Safia when you give me characters like her? She looks crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna need her. And probably this girl, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll skip them. Maybe I'll skip Homa and her. I feel like I'm gonna skip everyone, maybe try to get this character when she comes out, and Sophia. Like, I need those women in my life. So yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. This actually came out. Uh, I, so this is the new storyline that already came out. I didn't get to play it yet, but I'll catch up on it, definitely. Uh, new story chapter, Sen made scale, discovered the mysterious element empire in the realm renowned for its vibrant commerce. Has introduced a new permanent story chapter, Sen made scales. Master the art of trade and governance at your trade post and immerse yourself in the intricate dynamics that drive this empire. The beacon on the other side of this scale will soon ignite, getting you into the heart of Element Sandy mysteries. Embark on this new adventure and unveil the secret of some civilization built on the scales of trade. So we are getting an exclusive limited time progressive event. Essentially from playing within the Spiral of Destinies, playing the new storyline, you are getting a lot of rewards and a lot of looks sides. That's really, really cool. Uh, we are getting a new assist function in Spiral of Destinies, which allows you to um, get some advantage on the battlefield, right? So that's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I haven't played it yet, but I'm definitely going to because I I've been loving the game. I it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Coco, I already pulled for her. She's super cool. She's like a new tank. Um, when she gets hit, she heals herself and an ally. She is so powerful. She's so versatile. She has like short range heal, long range heal, she can dispel debuff, grant them like damage increase, damage reduction, she can also like put enemies to sleep and apply infection to them, she is like fantastic, and she's a Valdarian as well, um, so yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with her that's super cool. Now, more recently, because I was a bit late, we have had an announcement to tell us that new Fool's Journey chapters are coming out. So for those who don't know, the Spiral of Destinies is essentially the story mode um, where you get to choose faction that you want to team up with and you get to see their story and depending on your choices, it's going to have a lot of different uh, ending and branching endings, right? Now, the Fool's Journey is kind of the outside of the story. It's kind of like a story outside of the main campaign, right? And this is the story about what happens after the first time you died. And you are in this kind of um, sea of chaos. And you summon some of the people from the main story. Uh, and you, you're trying to figure out what to do to fix everything and you chase people to kind of get like the tarot card and you use that power to use like the wheel of time or whatever to go back into the campaign right um so those two like kind of game modes work in conjunctions and here we are getting some new chapters so currently we only have up to chapter eight and here we're gonna get two more chapters we are getting birdcage the true value of history is a sharp sword, a bronze mirror, a cruel proverb, a hymn of courage, and will also become a person's ideals. So that's very interesting. This guy looks like a scholar. Hey, he's a scholar! And uh, looking good. I don't know this character, but uh, he looks... He looks like a good boy. And then we have the fool's journey, the hanged man, in a hanged posture, rectify the bend of this world. And I'm really excited for this because so far the hangman, the main story has been making me hurt. Um, so I I, 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 I really want to see what's going to happen there. Um, in other news, we've had the Wishing You Joyful Meet Autumn Festival, which is really sweet. They give you some free uh, resources in the game. Um, and this is nice. They give you a little bit of uh, look sight. And um, just some in-game reward. It's it's okay. Uh, the art itself is very adorable, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Um, then we've had the Voyager's Conundrum Volume 2. Uh, this is the guild events. Essentially, together, by doing some action, some activity, you unlock some passcodes. And by putting the number together, you can figure out what is this code. And when you enter the full codes with the effort of the guild, you get some rewards. This is just like free gems, essentially. You get like, I don't know, like almost a pool per day or something like that. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, that's kind of nice. Then, they have just announced today, we know what the Get Together banner is going to be. This is going to be for a limited time. And we have an increased probability of getting Inanna and Xavier. So, um, I know Inanna is very good. She's like a healer. She's a very good healer. She, is she the only limited character that's a healer? I don't even know. Well, she's not a limited character, she's on the permanent banner, but she's like the only 5-star that's a healer, I think. Uh... I mean, Coco heals now. Coco does heal. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I think she's pretty good. Xavier, I don't know anything about him. I, I kind of don't like his character, to be honest. Uh, you know what, we're gonna check uh, the beautiful, amazing Cillian journey. Check him out, he's great, he's on Twitter, he has this Patreon here. And he posts some awesome, like, short guides. Um, and he did post, like, a, um, like, his first post was actually a tier list, um, for everything that's included currently in the Taiwanese servers. And so you can see even characters that are not released yet, and you can see how good they are. And we can see here that Inanna is T0. So if you don't have Inanna, and you want her, pull for her. Personally speaking, unfortunately, I only pull on those banners if I want either of the characters, right? So the first time we had to get together, it was Beryl and Cole, and I wanted either of those I was happy with. I ended up getting Cole, so I was happy with that. Then there was the banner with um, Garcia and Nungle, so I was okay getting either of those at Garcia. And then um, the most recent one, I think, was uh, Nono Wheel and Momo, and I was okay with either one, so I pulled on the banner, I got Momo. Uh, now, unfortunately, it's Xavier and Inanna. I do want Inanna, I really don't care about Xavier, so unfortunately, I'm probably gonna be skipping. Maybe one day I'll lose a 50-50, and I'll get Inanna, and that's fine. Or maybe in the future she'll get a, a better get-together for me. Maybe she'll be running with another character I enjoy. Maybe she'll be running with Burial. Maybe she'll be running with, I don't know, maybe like Korea or something like that. Or Nungol or uh, any other characters that I'm interested in and I'll be pulling then. Uh, otherwise, no, I'm good. So yeah, essentially right now I'm kind of just waiting for Safiya. And uh, that's pretty much all that's going on. I, I'm, I'm also interested in the Seeker version of Warrior. Some characters are getting like additional version, like some XP kind of thing. It's not really XP, it's just like different versions of them in different roles. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's my thought on this banner. Personally, I'm probably going to be skipping, unfortunately. Uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to kind of talk about. Those are all the recent news. Um, and I'm super, super, super excited. I'm looking forward to the new patch and the new event. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're still interested, still playing the game. I've been playing it daily since its release and uh, I've been enjoying the crap out of it. So yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff.